up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel guys we are week nine into eternal evolution and just before we kick today's video off um, if anyone does watch my videos you'll see that eternal evolution crashes a lot um and it turns out it was me i was the problem um so what it was is when i first installed eternal evolution using ld player it told me i couldn't use 64 bit and i had to use 32 bit so I was using 32-bit and it crashed, it crashed, it crashed. Then I installed it on the 64-bit version because I thought, why not? I'll give it a go. And that fixed the problem. So don't be a noob like the real deal. Install 64-bit LD, uh, LD player for Eternal Evolution. It will stop the game crashing. So what has been happening? The biggest thing is we finally hit Hyper Evolution. And I was so hyped. I was so pumped for this. And to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed. Um, so like last week, we were nowhere near hyper, uh, hyper evolution. And I thought it was going to take another week, maybe two weeks. But we actually did it in eight weeks, two days. So a lot sooner than I thought. And um, Anpu is already at 82. And I thought this was going to be like a massive game changer for me. I was just going to be like smashing through content that I was originally stuck on. And to be honest, I feel like it hasn't helped me as much as I thought it would. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not feeling it right now. Um, I mean, it has helped massively with some of the stats, like 44.9k attack. Very, very strong. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like we're anywhere as near as what I was expecting. I just feel like it's nowhere near as good. I do like how um, it looks like we've got like gasoline and we've thrown it over the avatars. I like it. It's a, It looks so cool. Um, but yeah, I guess. Um, and also Orthan at like 49 for hyper evolution as well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my mind will change when we sort of progress a little bit further in the game. But right now, I'm not impressed. Um, so one of the other things on my list to do is I really want to try and get as many elites to immortal plus five. And the reason for this is so I can go in the shop and just use them in the dismissal shop. So we can pick up um, mutation crystals, trophy crystals. I think all of these things just pretty much are food, but I guess I'd like gold as well. Gold is always useful. I think it's something like, is it 10K? 10K a pop if you want to hyper evolve sun or is it for for elites? Uh, sorry, sorry, for triple S's. 20 mil. So yeah, it's 20 mil. That's, that's a lot of gold. So um, yeah, that would definitely come in handy. So what else has been going on in the account? Divine prototypes. So this is a biggie. Uh, we've picked up the dominant nucleus and this is for summoners. Um, basically will help you do more damage. But I'm not sure what gem I want to use. I'm sort of leaning towards um, this one. So tanks and summoners, but they, I've got um, in my bag, if we just go to the bag. I do have these i guess are they legendary these legendary ones that we can use and i feel like not this one this is the one that we're leaning to uh, leaning towards recklessness so it's going to help tanks um summoners and supports deal more damage you know supports well my supports don't hit very hard i mean orphan hits like a truck uh, maybe some of the other tanks hit hard as well um but yeah it's just basically to help my summoners do more damage it makes sense to me if I'm using summoners, I'm usually using them with a tank as well. Um, there's some interesting options up for grabs. Um, Hex looks pretty sweet. Um, that is massive, but it's can't use against bosses. So I'm a bit like, uh, that does put me off a little bit. And I hate how you have to click off that. Crit damage is nice, but it's not really going to help our summoners. Crit rate as well is not going to be that useful. Attack speed is nice, but again... Not for summoners. Yeah, not interested in that either. 
Taking less damage, though, could be very useful. Armor. Armor sounds like a good one. I mean, lifesteal is tempting as well. Um, I guess it means that you can get away without having a healing support. But again, I don't know. Most games I've ever played, lifesteal is really good early on. And then later on in the game, it just drops off. And it's better to take stats over lifesteal. So crit damage reduction, resistance and decrease the initial energy rage of the enemy hero. Nice, a bit of turn meter control. So yeah, there's some really, really nice ones up for grabs, but yeah, I feel like the damage reduction and increasing our damage, they're like sort of the two that I'm leaning towards, but you guys let me know in the comments below. I'm sure Master Styles is watching and he'll 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 show me the way. Um, yeah, so that's sort of like, I think the main things that we've been doing and sort of the main things that have happened. Commander post, again, not much happening here. Um, I've just been pretty relaxed on Sincero's Marsh. If we look at Sincero's Marsh, actually, let's look at Arena, because Arena, we've been doing pretty good. Top eight for Classic Arena, Galactic Arena, where we're 21. Doing very well there. And actually, let's see. Let's look at the battle reports. Oh my god. Trans fat has been slamming me. Wow. But David Madrid, the old rival, this guy, like he's a very, very good player. Um, this team comp he's got is very, very hard to beat. I mean, I'm able to stomp him now, but there's definitely a big difference in our power level. I think he's at like say 1.8 mil, and we are at say 3.2 but if you took away the power level and it was a bit more of an even even playing field he would smash me but it feels so good to beat this guy i mean this is a nasty defense that he's got going on but yeah we're just sort of we're just getting there yeah really really tough defense and there we go enjoy the disrespect david madrid but yeah so we're, we finally beat our rival but trans fat man, wow, he's been farming me all day long. Uh, Hell Arena, where are we at the moment? Yep, yep. So we're number two, and I've gone for some of the hard fights. Um, anyone that's probably eight mil and above is going to be a bit of a struggle for me. But um, super soupy. Should be quite easy. Well, no, not easy. That'll probably be a draw. Um, Dragon Gem, I'm expecting three plus. And then I've got these bots that I can just smash on the side. So yeah, it should be progressing and making it to the next level. But then the Summit Arena. So we made it into the top 16. Um, big congrats to Jim Blade. Well done. Um, can we look at the lineup? Yeah. Um, yeah, just some... I mean, yeah, I took on Hex. He won it last time. I'm guessing he absolutely dominated me. I don't watch it. It's too painful. Too painful to watch. But he absolutely wrecked me. Um, and he actually won this last season. So I was not expecting to win that one. I'm surprised he was taken out so early, though. I'm guessing it's, it's very difficult. Um, what is it called again? Uh, Summit Arena. Because you're doing three comps. You do it blind. And it is very much rock, paper, scissors. Um, I guess a way of doing it is trying to figure out what team comps that your opponent has and then trying to guess what order they're going to be in and build counters to that, but very, very difficult to do. And let's see, what are we picking up? So we're getting one medal, which let, let's pick that up. And is that a, a gene hybrid as well? Sweet. That is going to be huge. I don't know who I'm going to put that on just yet. We did pick up Dominic recently, so might put that in Tim, but I should probably focus Jax for now. He needs to like level up. But in the shop, so we've got some pizza slices, and that's really annoying. I'm going to have to wait another week to pick up what I'm after, and it's this trophy, the Bionic Heart number four. Um, so reducing diamond costs to refinement for our commanders is huge. Um, so yeah, really, really want to get this as soon as I can. It looks like it's going to be at least another week before we can do that. 
Um, and then what else is juicy in the shop? And what can we spend our medals on? So you can get all these um, mythical prototypes. I think uh, Cos uh, Cosmo's Lord is a pretty good one. Horn of Healing is very good for tanks. And Ruler's Ring as well. Very, very good for summoners. You know, summoners being one of the stronger classes in the game. You can also get a Universal Crystal as well. You can also get some materials as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I even got Dominic. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I bought him in the shop, but I, I can't remember, honestly. But yeah, I think I'll pick up another copy of Dominic as well. That is on the list. Res. I don't know why that's here. That's obviously bait. Do not, do not buy res. But yeah, and the pizza slices as well. There's loads of good things we can pick up with that. These recruitment cards are tasty. Again, some gold. I do like the superior resource packs as well. But yeah, I think that's like the main things I'll be looking for. Oh, nice. So I'm just trying to do the math. Six times 200. So 1,200 and we can pick ourselves up another copy of Dominic from there as well. So yeah, that's definitely worth getting. And the recruitment cards as well. I love limited recruitment cards. I'm a sucker for them. So I think that's everything with that. Um, yeah, so Jax is definitely someone that I want to invest in. And while we're at it, let's, let's do it. I love doing the evolution. I'm going blind. Oh, that's weird. I couldn't... Okay, I don't know why it was like that. So yeah, let's, let's evolve Jax. What a beast. And we can go again because we've already got these crystally things that I've made earlier. Nice. And I think that means I can actually do his exclusive as well. Yeah, boy. Sweet. So, yeah, we're going to be able to... Oh, no. <laughs> one more. One more. But, yeah, we're getting some more talents as well. Raging Torment Skill Enhanced has a 30% chance, depending on Jax's actually to stun targets for two seconds. Very, very strong. Supernatural <laughs> Indigestion. <laughs> when participating in an enemy kill gains 25 energy. I wouldn't say that's massive, um, but it's useful. It is useful. Yeah, so getting slightly stronger. Um, but yeah, he is so solid, like so tanky. Good CC and can do some damage. So let's come back to the borders. So we've looked at Arena, Lost Valleys, no progression made, still stuck at EX1 on every single one. Um, I think I say this every video. I need to do some homework on that. Um, but yeah, we've made some huge strides in the triangle. Um, Ruler of Truth, Crimson Riot. Oh, it's Crimson Rot. I don't know why. I always thought it was Riot. Uh, Mirage space, we've managed to get to level six on every single one. Um, hard. It looks hard. Um, this, yeah, like, so now you have to build two teams out, one with summon heroes and one for energy for um for space, space mirage. And this is a toughie. I mean, 18.4 mil. That is gonna be very, very difficult to build. And normally I'd actually use Orphan and Pooh. And Ravenar as like my core for a team to be like this. Um, I use it all the time to beat people up in arena. Here, I think it's gonna be a struggle. I do not think it's gonna be as easy as that. So that is gonna be interesting, but something that I need to work on. Crimson Abyss. This was actually one of the things that helped me jump so quickly for that hyper evolution. So I was at level seven, and then just one day. I just managed to clear from level seven to level third or to level 12. And what happens is every time you first time clear, you're getting like 13 mil EXP potions. We're getting 52 K rubies. And that's what actually helped me level up my heroes so quickly. And also, um, so how I spend my diamonds now as well is I fully invest into Crimson Abyss as my number one choice because I want to level up my heroes as quickly as possible. Then I will buy as many uh, buy all the stamina that I can 
Um, sometimes I'm focused on Sincero's Marsh if I need to do my commander. Um, I'm now back on Disa Caves because I need some more crit rate gear. Um, and also there's like some other things we can get like Vigorious. I'm a big fan of. What else? Hawkeye's solid. Zephyr is also very, very nice as well. So I'm trying to pick up more pieces of those as well. And then the Terra Dome. Um, Terra Dome, I did sort of go hard on it for a week. Now I've sort of dropped it again. Um, just really what I want to do is get to EX3 and then I'll start farming it again so we can get these universal crystal shards, which are huge. I only use them for mythical prototypes. Do not use them on Epic. I did that. Big, big mistake. Um, we've unlocked Sweep for Ancient Altar. I love the Ancient Altar. You get so many rewards from here. Um, if you can clear everything. So we're getting sort of six to eight re recruitment cards. Then we're getting four to six, three to four, and then two to three. So I think just quick maths, it's roughly like 20 recruitment cards here a week. So you definitely want to try and push this as hard as you can and as fast as you can. Exotic Expedition. Oh, I messed up big time on this. Um, yeah, I don't know what I've done, but Pandemonium messed me up on the first on the first level of this. Um, on the first cycle, got absolutely wrecked by him. Um, so that made things very very difficult. Managed to sort of get through the first cycle. Second cycle, we fell at the first hurdle and we're ranked ten. Not good. I think last time I was like rank three, rank four. And we probably did, I think we got to cycle four. Um, so yeah, really, really messed up. So I need to pay more attention in future on the exotic expedition. And that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, I guess also actually um, making some progression in the campaign as well. But this is like the team comp running, double summoner, double tank, and then healer. And yeah, 18.7 mil versus our 3.3. Um, don't think we can win this. But yeah, we're starting to hit walls now. Content is starting to get hard. Oh, maybe the real deal is wrong. Look at this. They are just popping off. Wow. They're just getting slammed. Maybe that uh, leveling up Jax, that was the key. Maybe it's the hyper evolution. Who knows? Yeah, but I better do some farming. But anyway, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon.